Hello, Cancer. Welcome to Empress Moon Tarot 777. My name is Ocean. Very happy to have you here today. We are going to take a look at what's going on in your love life. And I am going to do basically a um, 15 card spread. And then um, we may extend this, so we shall see. I'd like to welcome back my VIP members. I love y'all. Your support and encouragement during this tough time has been absolutely amazing. I really appreciate you guys. And for my subscribers, I truly value you. Thank you very much for your presence here on the channel. For those of you that are repeat viewers, always happy to have you here. Would love for you to subscribe so that we could stay connected a little bit more strongly. And if you're brand new, welcome. Oh my, Cancer. Cancer, the cards on this side represent you when I do this spread. So just so you are aware, this is you. So the cards on the opposing side over here on the left to represent your person of interest. Now your person of interest is focused on this connection from the standpoint of giving and receiving. So it's possible, Cancer, that this could be somebody that you are in a long-term committed relationship with. And if it's somebody that you're in, a, just bear with me one second, Cancer, while I adjust my camera. If it's somebody that you are in a long-term committed relationship with, there is a focus on um, whether or not they're giving enough, whether or not you're giving enough, whether or not <clears throat> there is some sort of balance within this particular connection. Cancer, this person may feel a little bit taken for granted or perhaps you have expressed that you feel taken for granted. I don't think it's you. You seem to be in a really good place. They, however, not so much. Sorry about that. You are first up today, so <laughs> since you are first up, we have to make some minor adjustments. Usually I'm doing this for the sign of Pisces. All right, which I'm sure we have some Pisces viewers right now, so welcome, welcome. Your overall energy is that of the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords in this particular deck, when we see the Page of Swords, it's usually about some sort of communication that comes in, some sort of message that comes in. Now, the Page of Swords in this particular case appears to be seeking some sort of wisdom or some sort of knowledge regarding the connection between the two of you. As I said, your person's energy is that of the Six of Cups or Six of Coins. Is there an equal give and take in this relationship? It's possible, Cancer, that in the past, this person did not know what to do about you. The two of you may not be in a connection right now. The two of you may be at a physical distance, an emotional distance, and it's possible that in the past, this person went through a lot of emotional strife, emotional trials, a lot of overthinking about whether or not to give to this connection. Because I see right now, they've got this, this energy of taking a break. You may have found that their communication with you is sort of backed off, or the two of you may not be in communication at all. You could be at opposite ends of the house, Ultimately, this person wants success on the love front with you, Cancer. They want the, this connection to be successful. This person may be single. For those of you that are not currently in a long-term committed relationship with this person, this person may be single. If this person did not open up to you in the past, Cancer, I see that they will be opening up to you. They will be expressing their emotions in some way. It appears it will be rather small, nothing major. And it looks like they're in deep thought and contemplation about this connection. There's something about your connection that's undergoing uh, a metamorphosis at the moment. Because one of the two of you is in really deep thought over this, over how to give to this connection. All right.
Oh yeah, there's like so much overthinking about how to move forward in this connection. It's like how to be successful. Look at what's on the bottom. It's literally the exact same energy, both ducks. So we're definitely on point with these ducks. So there appears to be a whole lot of overthinking, a whole lot of overthinking about the equality within the connection. It could be that one of you has expressed a desire for something that the other is not looking for, or there's some sort of perceived incompatibility. Um, there's a focus strongly on your person having their guard up, Cancer. They may feel as if you're not appreciating them, or they may feel as if um, they've given too much, or perhaps they feel that you sense that they are not enough for some reason. During all of this time, while they are mentally disconnected from you, they're constantly thinking about you. You're constantly on their mind. And not only are you constantly on, your, on their mind, but they're trying to figure out how to express to you what it is that they wish to express. And it could be that what they're trying to express to you is how they feel. Um, old English is going through my head. It's, uh, you know, um, so it could be that, that, uh, perhaps maybe, maybe some of you are involved in theater or some of you may be, you know, in the UK that I'm picking up on this old English, um, kind of, um, communication. It could be that it's, there's a, if one of you has a spirit guide that's, you know, from, um, you know, kind of medieval times. It may be related to you. So where are you at? While this person's deep in thought, feeling this, you know, intense. Oh my. Whoa, Cancer. Look at how many cards are left. So <laughs> you couldn't see that because that was off camera, but it was almost as if somebody had come up underneath and smacked these cards so that all would fall away except for these so so I believe that our next six cards are coming from the top of these all right spirit whatever you want <laughs> so cancer you have this five of swords it's possible the two of you did not see eye to eye at one point in time you may have gotten into a disagreement an argument and with this queen of cups immediately thereafter there's this essence of the fact that you have been focusing on your own self-love. You have been focusing on the things that make you happy. You may have been getting involved in spirituality. You may have been focusing on the, the things about yourself that you love, the things about you that are wonderful. Um, self-love and care after a time of difficulty, either with this person or with somebody else. I do see cancer that you see this connection as a very deep soulmate bond or even twin flame. I'm not seeing twin flame at the moment. I'm only seeing soulmate, but um, it could be that you see this connection as a very deep soulmate bond, one in which the two of you are growing together. Yet this person feels as if you're growing apart. With the Ace of Wands, you have a lot of passion for this person. These two cards together show me that you may feel that you have an, a spiritual bond with this person as well. And interestingly, there's a whole lot of excitement and happiness here regarding this person, yet a fear that they're going to walk away from you. Yep, an entire fear that they're going to walk away from you. It's almost like you're afraid to let this person know exactly how you feel and exactly what it is that you want, because if you do, then they'll walk away. Somebody may have walked away from you in the past with that kind of energy cancer. Um, we do see here that you feel that there's a brand new cycle that's occurring between you and this person. And with the Ace, Ace of Wands, Knight of Cups, you may be wanting to tell them how you feel, but perhaps you've been holding back because you feel that the moment you do that, they're going to run. With the King of Wands and the Five of Swords, there's this intensity of, of um, strong controlling kind of energy here. And perhaps this is you controlling your thoughts and your 
emotions. But we definitely have a heartbreak situation from the past for you, Cancer. Now, out of curiosity, I'd like to see what's going on here. Because Spirit, for some reason, knocked all those other cards out of my hands. Knight of Wands. One of the two of you may want to come rushing in to make things very clear with the Queen of Swords. About Ace of Cups. About how you're feeling. After a time of reflection. Three of Coins. To see how the two of you can make this work together. Temperance. Uh, that could very well be a reconciliation for some, but I feel like that's you you and this person being patient. The Wheel of Fortune, something is changing here regarding giving to the connection. This is so interesting. So many repeat cards. Seven of Cups, a time of confusion is what the two of you are walking away from. With the Moon, there's a lot of emotions here between the two of you. And with the Six of Cups and the Hierophant, there is this strong sort of daydreamy energy about the potential future of this connection. Now let's get you a whispers of love. Turn your heart light on. Okay, so Cancer, they're saying... You need to open up your heart if you want to draw this connection in. You need to open up your heart and allow yourself to experience love and to reflect on a time when you did feel love. Also, both of you need to be authentic. Allow the real you to show. And your person needs to practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. Look at what's on the bottom. Receive with love and appreciation. One of the two of you does, or perhaps both of you, don't know how to receive love, only to give it. And somebody needs to learn how to receive love without there being this intensity. Intensity. It's almost like when somebody gives and the other person recoils because they're not used to receiving, right? One of the two of you has to learn how to receive with grace because that is giving in and of itself. So Cancer, I don't feel I was originally going to do an extended for this, but in light of Spirit kind of knocking those cards out of my hand, I feel like your entire message is here and that um, we're not supposed to extend this. So we're going to leave that right there, Cancer. Um, somebody's coming forward to express how they feel and the other needs to receive that graciously. And instead of seeing it as a negative, so if you're expressing how you feel to this person and you're the cross watcher, you need to be able to accept love from Cancer in, in the form that it is because that is giving in and of itself. And Cancer, if your person is coming forward to you to tell you how they're feeling, you need to release the fears that they're going to walk away and accept that graciously, receive that graciously, and see how the two of you might be able to you know, work this out to move forward. All right, Cancer, love and light to you. I hope you have an absolutely great day. I'll see you again soon. Bye.